It is with great sadness that I announce the line of duty death of Massachusetts State Police Trooper Tamar Bucci, who gave the ultimate sacrifice shortly before midnight when a cruiser was struck by a tractor trailer on Route 93 northbound in Stoneham. Trooper Bucci's cruiser was struck by a tanker truck carrying a full load of approximately 10,000 gallons of gasoline as she attempted to pull to the side of the road to assist a disabled motorist at approximately 11.45 p.m. The force of the impact pushed her cruiser, a fully marked Ford Interceptor SUV with blue lights activated, off of the roadway. Two good Samaritans were passing by. In their vehicle, they stopped and pulled Trooper Bucci from the heavily damaged cruiser, and a Stoneham police officer who came upon the scene performed emergency first aid, including CPR, until EMS arrived and transported her to Massachusetts General Hospital. Despite the heroic efforts of the citizens, the Stoneham officer, the Armstrong ambulance crew, and the emergency staff at MGH, Trooper Bucci was pronounced deceased at the hospital. The department is devastated by our loss. We are eternally grateful to the attempts of, every, attempts of everyone involved to assist Trooper Bucci and to save her life. Trooper Bucci was 34 years old and was assigned to this barracks, State Police Medford, since last month. Prior to that, she was assigned to the Brookfield Barracks after graduating as a member of the 85th Recruit Training Troop on May 6, 2020. Before joining the Massachusetts State Police, Trooper Bucci was employed by the Security Department at Encore Casino and also worked as a personal trainer. She's a graduate of Middlesex Community College and of Andover High School. She's survived by her mother and her father, two sisters, a stepbrother, and a stepsister. She's also survived by our other family, the 2,000 plus men and women of the Massachusetts State Police, many of whom came to MGH last night to grieve and support one another as word of her passing spread. The driver of the truck, a Methuen man, was not injured. He is cooperative and was interviewed by troopers earlier this morning. The truck is owned by PJ Murphy Company. The investigation into the crash is ongoing and being conducted by Troop A along with the MSP Collision Analysis and Reconstruction Section, Crime Scene Services Section, Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Section, and the State Police Detective Unit for Middlesex County. At this time, there are no charges. The woman who was in the disabled motor vehicle that Trooper Bucci was trying to help was transported to an area hospital for evaluation. Late last night, on a stretch of road she protected every night on the mid midnight shift, Trooper Bucci gave her life in the act of trying to help another person in distress. There's no greater act of sacrifice than to give one's life for another. She is the 22nd member of the Massachusetts State Police to, lot, to die in the line of duty. Her death is a reminder of the dangers that troopers and police officers face each day in order to protect society. While we are heartbroken by this tragedy, we resolve to continue our mission to protect and serve by following the example set by Trooper Bucci. In her brief MS pre career, she set an example for all of us to follow. Her life was cut too short, too soon. The tremendous outpouring of support shown by troopers and local officers at the hospital last night is a testimony to the respect and admiration that Trooper Bucci earned in her chosen field in just the two short years that she was wearing the badge. Her selfless act embodies the mission of the state police to help those in need, a mission we will now carry on in her memory. Prisoner McNamara. The association is devastated by the line of duty death of our member, Trooper Tamar Bucci. Our thoughts this morning are with her family and our members as we process this tragic and senseless loss of life. It's never easy when one of our members is taken from us. And yet again, reminds us of the dangers we face every day while in service to the Commonwealth. Trooper Bucci is not just a co-worker to us. She is our sister. And we are heartbroken by this devastating loss to our membership. We would like to extend our heartfelt thank you 
to all of those who came to her aid, including the Good Samaritans that were first on scene. We ask everyone to keep her family and our members in their thoughts and prayers during this immensely difficult time. Thank you, Colonel. Thank you, President McNamara. As we said, we'll entertain some questions with the caveat that an ongoing investigation is underway and we will be limited as to what we can reply to. Uh, can, you just go, can you just go over again what, what we believe led up to this? It was just a disabled vehicle? Yes, additional investi uh, investigation and examination of the scene indicates that Trooper Bucci became aware of a disabled motor vehicle that was in the breakdown lane and was making her way over to assist that motor vehicle uh, when we, she was struck by uh, the tractor trailer. So she wasn't part, she was in the process of getting into the breakdown lane when she was hit. Correct. That's our basic understanding that's subject to change as the investigation uh, unfolds. And was that car, the, dis the disabled car, also struck by the truck? There, uh, whether the, the, that, that vehicle was struck by the actual truck or by Trooper, Trooper Bucci's cruiser is yet yet to, to be determined and will be the product. Of, well, eventually we will know, um, but that will be the product of a very thorough and detailed investigation. Do you know the extent of that driver's injuries? I know you said she was made of value. My understanding was that they were uh, minor injuries. She had not been uh, released as of uh, approximately half an hour ago. Uh, but they are non-life-threatening injuries, and we expect that she will be released. Can you please spell the name of the Sure. Her first name is T-A-M-A-R. Her last name is spelled B as in Bravo, U Uniform, C Charlie, C Charlie, I India. Colonel, uh, was there either construction or road work going on that stretch 93 last night around the time of the crash? There was not. Are there any, is there anything you can tell us about I can tell you that she'll be sorely missed. Um, she you know, always had the dream and aspiration to be a trooper. She worked very hard uh, during the academy, according to her classmates and according to the drill staff. Um, she attained her uh, much desired goal of becoming a Massachusetts State Trooper. Uh, she was a very productive member of our department. During the, during the time she, she worked with us, she was well liked. Um, you know, she was a person that put family first, faith first, um, and I understand, uh, you know, she had a, uh, a passion for fitness. She was, uh, as I indicated, a personal trainer at one point, and, uh, you know, friends tell me that she offset her, her sweet tooth with that passion for fitness. Um, she will certainly be missed. Is she, is she from Massachusetts originally? Uh, she is a resident of Woburn. Yes. Was she trying to move closer to your family? Because did you say previously she was in the It's not uncommon for troopers, uh, brand new troopers, out of the academy and the 85th had graduated approximately two years ago. They have a little less than two years on the on the job. Um, they traditionally they're sent out, um, and then they work the, as they gain seniority. They can work their way back. So I suspect that she broke in at the Brookville barracks and worked was working her way back to uh, SB Medford, which would have been her home barracks. I apologize. How long was she? Uh, she graduated May 6. 2020. She's a member of the 85th Recruit Training Troop. If you recall, that was the class that graduated at uh, Gillette Stadium. And how long has she been at this barracks? Uh, she's been at this barracks. I think the personnel order transferring her to this barracks was cut January 25th, I believe. So for prox a little over a month, she's been at this barracks. Colonel, do we know um, how many Good Samaritans jumped in to help? Do you know if the driver of the tanker was able to assist as well? I know of at least two. Um, I know just in my you know, conversations with some of the investigators that were at the scene, uh, they described the, the actions of the Good Samaritans as, as heroic and immediate and decisive. Um, and so we're very, very grateful for that, as we are of the efforts of the entire uh, Mass General Hospital. That's an outstanding facility. Uh, the people there uh, were very good to uh, Trooper Bucci, to her family, and to us as we worked through this on the overnight. Is there a session planned already for Trooper Bucci for today? Uh, you know, today we're kind of focused on the investigation. I imagine, you know, as the pace of, of events slow down, uh, we'll take a step back and we'll start to really coordinate with the family and, and, and we'll see what their wishes are. Will there be a session or anything like that today? Um, I, I expect that there, there will be. Um, potentially later today. I'm not aware of what the, the scheduled movements um, of her body are, um, but they would be under escort by the state police. Uh, I, 
was not at, personally at the scene. I went directly to the hospital to meet with the family and speak with her mother, so I couldn't speak to that. Okay, thank you. We are going to be releasing a photograph of Trooper Bucci in a, in a uh, short time. Well, that'll be emailed to the day. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.